Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to John, I'm going to be doing another American taste test, so let's get started. Yay! First up, I'm going to be trying a Hershey's product, Milk Chocolate Pretzel Bites, with a salty pretzel center. Yes, please. Put the little thing there to tear. I'll pull them out of my hand to give you a look. Whoops! <laughs> the beautiful little chocolatey balls that are all running around the table. they're really nice. The chocolate on the outside is pretty good and then you've got that beautiful salty pretzel ball. Did I say pretzel? <laughs> the chocolate itself is pretty good and then inside you have that beautiful salty pretzel ball. These ones are really nice. Oh, oh yum. And I'll show you the middle. That's the middle of it there. The pretzel itself isn't overly salty but it works really nicely with the chocolate. Um, wow, they're melting really quickly. <laughs> Yum! Really delicious. That's a good product. Next up, I've got two kinds of Imperial Nuts. There's two flavors here. Are these good? Are they made in America? I hope so. Um, 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 It says product from USA, Vietnam, Brazil, India, and Indonesia. But it's packaged in the USA. Get your head around that. I think I'll try the Power Blend next because I need that. I've really struggled to get motivated in 2021 after 2020. Yeah, rolled into 2021. I was like, eh. I didn't even stay up to New Year's. Let me know if you stayed up to New Year's to see it in. Couldn't be bothered. So that shows you everything you get inside. Uh, whoa, hello. Yes, that's a nice nut mixture, isn't it? So what do you get in there? Do you want me to read out the things? Of course you do. You get salted walnuts, salted shelled pistachio, salted peanuts, salted, um, what's that? Salted fill, what? Salted filberts? I don't know what a filbert is. <laughs> And it also has salted almonds straight off the bat. I'm going to hunt down a filbert because I don't know what it is. And you think I should be able to work it out. That's a, that must be a filbert. No, I can't find a filbert. Is that a filbert? No, that's a nut. All right, I'll just try it. Mmm. Mmm. Almond. Mmm. Pistachio. I can't find a filbert. <laughs> Some of you out there are probably thinking it's terrifying that you can get to this age and not know what a filbert is. Well, I don't. And part of me is thinking, is a filbert something that we call something else here in Australia? And, and then suddenly I'll go, oh, that's a filbert, is it? This one from USA, Argentina, Mexico and Turkey, by the way. That, that was the other one I read before. Well, what is a filbert? It definitely says there's filberts in here, but what they are, I do not know. Here's a ridiculous question. Is a filbert just a longer peanut? <laughs> See, this could be a filbert here. We don't know. We should know. Oh, look at that. That must be a filbert. All right, so I've only got one of those. Better enjoy it, hey. It's like a, what's that? It's a cross between a macadamia and a peanut, but it's harder in texture and crunchier. I've no idea what a filbert is, really don't. I'm gonna learn in the comments, aren't I, what a filbert is. Everyone's gonna go, everyone knows what a filbert is. Let me know in the comments below. Have you ever heard of one before? As far as the mix goes, there's not a lot of salt in here, but it is something that'd be great for a trail mix that you can just take when you go on a bushwalk or a hike or, a, or you're hunting filberts. Next up, we have some honey roasted cashew snack mix. Fantastic, honey roasted cashews, check know what it is. Honey roasted peanuts, honey roasted sesame chips. Okay, that, <laughs> that must be something that they've made and baked into it. Oh, this looks like a beautiful mixture. There are nuts all over the floor. Right, oh, there it is. That's the thing I'm looking for. I'm going to try this first, the sesame crisp chip thing. Oh, Oh, that's delicious. Oh, the flavor of sesame in it is unbelievable. Well, no, it's believable. It's beautiful and crispy and the flavor in it is absolutely amazing. It's my favorite bit of the mix, even though I haven't tried the rest. Let's try some other things with it. Okay, cashew. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yum. There's a nice amount of honey in there without it being overpowering and so you can still taste the flavor of the different things in the mixture like, like the nuts, the cashews and the crispy sesame bits are my favorite bit of this mixture. So much so that you'd almost want to pick them all out and have a whole bag of those separately. That is something that I would eat again. That's delicious. So it's time for some beanie weenie. 
something I thought I'd never say. This is Van Camp's Beanie Weenie and it's smoked hickory flavor. Uh, I'm not usually a huge fan of like the baked bean sort of a thing. It's a textured thing. This should be interesting because it's got that smoked hickory flavor in there. And weenies. Well, I feel silly to ask this, but a weenie, is that a, is that like a little Frank Ferdy sort of sausagey thing? Is that what we're looking at right here? So let's go make this. Van Camp's Beanie Weenie. Don't you love the name? This one is actually pretty exciting because it's smoked hickory. I like things that have a smoky flavor in them. I'm not usually a fan of baked beans, but I like the thought of the hickory flavor. Oh, it smells really smoky. Put the heat on. Nope, wrong one. <laughs> You'd think I'd know by now. <laughs> and just put it in the pot. Oh! <gasps> There are some weenies in there. Is it a weenie? I did not expect them to look like that. I'm heating this up slowly. In the meantime, you're gonna to have to forgive me because I'm making some other things to go with my beanie weenies. One cannot live on beanie weenies alone. I'm just gonna cook up some eggs with it. I'm gonna scramble them because it's easier. And I've got some mushrooms going. And of course my beanie weenies, which are gonna be the pista resistance. It's all coming along nicely. Fry a little bit of ham as well. Serve it all up. And of course the star of the dish, the beanie weenies. Beanies and weenies. Does life get any better? Oh goodness me. So let's try it. Gotta make sure I've got some beanies and some weenies. It smells nice and smoky. Oh! Mm-hmm. It's a nice rich barbecue-y taste. It's also got a little bit of a tomato taste in there. Nice and smoky. Mmm, very nice. I was a little bit concerned about the weenies, but can I just say, I think I'm enjoying the weenies more than the beanies. And you get quite a bit in that little can too, so it's enough of a serving for, um, you can have all your beanies and weenies just as one meal, or as I like to do it, put it with lots of different things. Time for beverage break, and today I have a tropical guava drink. It's from Great Bayou. It's an on-the-go thing. Tropical guava drink enhancer. So it makes 24. Open it up. And just pop the top. How much should I put in? Just guess. Oh, right. Oh, it looks beautiful. Look at the colour of that. I might end up putting more in. Yeah, I think I might put a bit more in. Hello, oh, because I'm loving the colour of it so much. Cheers. Oh, okay, that's nice. Mmm. Mmm. See, I'm not usually a guava fan, but this is quite nice. It's lovely and sweet. Usually guava to me has a little bit of a, a fruity foot taste to it. Hmm. I mean, how do you describe the taste of the guava? The flavor is really hard to describe. It's like a pawpaw that has met a watermelon and it's like it's uncle's brother's sister's cousins or something. It's a beautiful color and the flavor is lovely and fruity. Hmm. And it really has enhanced my water very much so. Is this sugar free? It feels it. It says it's got lots of vitamins in it and it's great value. What more could you ask for in a little drink? Almonds salsa flavor. These are from Maddie Key. We grow our almonds. They're Californian almonds. There they are. Oh yum. Really good. They've got a little tiny bit of a jalapeno hit there, so they're a little bit hot. They've got a bit of chili in there. They've also got like a slight vinegary taste to them. They say that they're salsa flavor. They don't really taste tomato-ish to me. They mainly just taste like salty. Nice salty though. Nice. And the almonds themselves are really good quality. They're really crunchy, tasty. Mmm. There's a little bit of garlic in there too, and onion powder, very nice. And they leave like a salty residue on your hand. You know how I feel about that. Time for some M&Ms, and this looks like a really interesting flavor. It's orange vanilla cream. It's got an M&M &M there with an ice cream or an ice block. You probably call it something else, popsicles or something there in America, I'm not really sure. But we either call them ice blocks or ice creams. Oh. Look at that, look at the colours. They're white and orange coloured. Very pretty. It's got the M on the front there. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, 
Me white chocolate. Of course they are. Just they're vanilla. <laughs> It's lovely. It's got the hard candy casing on the outside, which is like a lovely orange flavor. And then in the middle, the chocolate is a vanilla-y like flavor. And it actually is really nice. Better than I thought it was going to be. Lovely and sweet. The orange is quite subtle in it, but it's nice. But, oh, <laughs> more things before. I thought M&Ms weren't supposed to leave marks on your hands, but it's so hot here today. These are actually really nice M&Ms and I would get these again. That lovely vanilla cream flavor in them is delicious. Thank you so much, John, for sending all of these amazing items. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank John, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.